Hi everybody, it's Julie with Obesity Is Not Me. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Okay, um, I'm in day 153. Um, after my full weekend of kind of refeeding, it's Monday morning, I jumped on the scale, and I am three pounds up. Ah, that's not where I wanna go. <laughs> so I'm 167.2. Um, kind of frustrated with myself because I didn't keep it clean keto this weekend. And that's the advice I give everybody. It's more important what you do after the fast <laughs> than during your fast and fasting. Um, got a little out of control again. So, you know, so here I sit. Um, Instead of losing an additional two pounds, which I usually do if I keep it clean, um, I'm up three. So life, that's just what happens. Let me show you what I ate this weekend. I didn't even eat that much. It's the chemical composition of what I ate. So, all right, so I'm gonna show you. This is my week at eating, coming off of my fast. After my roast, and all the bone broth and all that stuff. So, so I started uh, day one with coffee and MCT oil, um, coconut milk. Um, I was not in window eating. I I just said, okay, we're not. I'm not even going to do window eating right now. Um, I had with sausage, egg, cheese with spinach, and then I added the ketchup. So everything in red, I kind of wrote down and said, okay. That's what dropped, probably dropped me out of keto. Um, then for dinner, we had the coho salmon, large salad, carrots, pork rinds, almond milk, orange slices, yogurt with blueberries, Brazil nuts. This is within the day. And then I had, okay. When I was fasting, my last day, I went and got my teeth cleaned, okay? and I had my roast in the oven. And I was like, I am like three hours to getting to that roast and I had some time to go. I'm like, dude, I don't wanna smell that. You know, I didn't wanna come in and have to smell my roast. So I went to Tuesday's morning <laughs> to go look at some like towels and stuff and why they have food there, I bought it. I did, I bought it. Um, I got my husband some jelly beans too, which I don't, he didn't even want. I just wanted a few of them. So it's dark chocolate sea salt. And it's not that I don't ever eat this, I do. You know, I had Trader Joe's one, some caramel with some chocolate, and it's a great treat to have, condensed treat. The problem is I didn't need to have this treat this weekend it's chemical it's science i know this you don't want to add sugar really into your life at this point and i still did it and i did it with ketchup i put ketchup on my stuff so now i've kind of blitzed the sugar and if you ever watch thomas delauer he is so big on that, especially after your prolonged fast. Your body is super sensitive to stuff. It has like an ultra sensitivity level going on. And I blamed it with really one, two, three, four. I, I, I hit it with about five different sugars as I look at my meal. So that's why this is so good. This is why this is so important to kind of write this down see what's going on. It, it happened, it exactly happened as Thomas Delauer said it was going to happen. So, okay, so the next day I started off with coffee. I had coconut milk instead of coconut cream. That might make a difference too because the cream is so heavy. I put MCT oil in it, so it's getting the good fats. But then I had another fail on this day. I made almond pancakes. I wanted to make something different. 
I made almond pancakes. I failed at it. They tasted terrible. I didn't even want to eat them. I turned them into dog biscuits for Ruby. She loves them. It's gluten-free. She's gluten-free, please. Yeah. <laughs> I, turned, I turned my food into dog biscuits. Um, and then I had a piece of the French toast that I made lovingly for my husband instead. I had one piece. So now I've had carbs uh, with the bread because I made it with bread. I don't care if it's whole wheat bread. I it, It's carbs, straight carbs. And then I had some maple syrup on it. Yeah. And then I realized that I did have a tiny bit of honey in my coffee because I was trying this cinnamon honey thing. Then I also realized I had orange slices and then I, I didn't eat this whole thing. I actually had two left, but I did definitely eat two little pieces left before I stopped myself here. Um, and then I had my chocolate nut mixture, which is keto friendly. I, I use a stevia packet. It's nuts, it's coca, it's baking chocolate that I melt down. Um, I did have an apple. I had ground turkey with Frank's hot sauce and blue cheese, that's not bad. I had a boneless pork chop. And then I had potatoes that I took, I baked them um, when I was making the bone broth, when I was making the pot roast, sorry. And then you put them in the refrigerator and then you reheat those potatoes. I did them in oil and stuff. And Thomas Alamer says it really brings down the carbs. So I was like, I'm gonna give myself a little treat here. And that would be fine had I stuck it to, okay, you can have the carrots, the orange slices, your chocolate, um, and your potatoes. Um, and then I didn't add in, I, I, I gave myself a sugar bomb in two days. I, I did, I ended up giving my, here, let me show you it again. And then everything in red is non-keto friendly and probably why I gained three pounds. And it's like, it's not that much. And when you look at it, it's like, that's really no big deal. You ate really good food. You had salmon, you had a large salad, you ate, uh, you know, I had a uh, lean turkey with Frank's hot sauce, um, cooked in, you know, avocado oil. You know, I had these things that are very good for you. Um, it's, it's the science, though, of it. And I know this. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I always get like one or two pounds at the end if I can keep that repeat. Even eating pork rinds uh, and bacon, bacon and scallops. I probably should have just kept my bacon and scallops. In the morning, I think it's very dangerous to go off a... Um, try to do something different. I, I think I'll just do bacon and eggs, you know, for the first couple days off of this fast. It's, you know, and it wouldn't be a big deal if I did it next weekend. You know, it's just cause I, like I said, my body's ultra sensitive this weekend. So anyway, all right, I just want to share this. This is ups, downs. I really didn't want to come on. <laughs> Who wants to say it? I was like so celebratory. Who wants to do this? And I didn't weigh myself for a couple days because I didn't feel like it, you know? And now it's like, oh, three pounds up. That sucks. Instead of two pounds down. Because I didn't break my fast, you know, the, the next couple of days. So, okay, but going to, into the future, going into the future here, I'm jumping into alt day, I think. I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> I spiked too much sugar. So I'm very hungry right now. I think I'm going to go into all day. So today will be my fasting day. At least I'm looking at tomorrow um, eating and I will get up and have those eggs and stuff. Something really good, really substantial, um, really good fats. But um, yeah, just want to report it. Have a great day. We'll see what tomorrow brings. But all right. Bye now. Have a good day.